Hello, so what I'm going to be discussing today is why you should use great quality art supplies even if you are a new painter and this is like your introduction. So my channel helps beginner painters make the art they want to make in their mind but don't know how. I share painting tips and techniques, tools that I use, as well as tips on starting an online art business and traveling as an artist. So let's get into it. Okay, it's super important to use good quality art materials because poor materials can really make or break your art making experience. Um, I have like had experience, like for me, like I do a lot of watercolors I thought that I had a problem with my sketchbook uh, because the way the, the um, paint was like flowing around like it wasn't working. I thought it was like an absorption issue and this was like a decent sketchbook like you know it wasn't like a crappy sketchbook but then I ordered new uh, mop brushes. I have some mop brushes right here. It's like this shape. Um, and I had a world of a difference, okay? World of a difference just from changing a brush. I mean, the brush that I was using before was a free brush. Like it was a brush that my aunt had in her old watercolor uh, palette. And it was just one that came with the kit and everything. And I had been using that for a long time, but once I got this other brush, it was just like a night and day, like this works so well, you know? So, you know, even things like brushes, like for me, I had understood that the paper, watercolor paper is very important and the paints that you use are very important, but I hadn't seen anyone emphasizing the importance of quality brushes. So I didn't really think about it. I mean. The brushes were the last thing I was thinking about. Um, but like now I know it's like, oh, no, this is important. <laughs> this is important because it was just like night and day. Um, number two, reason number two is that using bad materials can make you think that you don't like an entire media. OK, and this happened to me like I used to not think like I used to think that I didn't like oil pastels until I use good quality oil pastels I I had this uh sort of like it was like the cheapest set that you can get like the maximum um the maximum you that you can uh get for a low price you know it was like Pentel and there was like 36 in there and they were all like it was like the, the whole experience was just like I had to like push really hard to get a like solid line and it was just not a good drawing experience and I was like Ugh, I don't like this I don't like oil pastels and then last, no, actually, was it, it, it was this year, actually, um, I bought uh, some good quality oil pastels by Sennelier, and um, I think it was, was it Carandash? I think that was the other brand. And this other brand was uh, Mungyo. Um, yeah, I believe that's how it was called. Um, and the oil pastels were so much creamier and vivid and there wasn't like a strange kind of like waxy smell. And it was just such a better experience. Like I don't want to make art and my hand is hurting after, you know? like or I feel like I'm just squeezing the material so hard like I don't like that and just change getting a better version of 
the uh, material, it just helped me understand like, oh no, this is not, like I don't dislike oil pastel. I dislike that version of it, you know? And it, it just took, you know, and I don't have a large collection of oil pastels, you know? I, you know, for the Sennelier is like, I, I think if they're not the most expensive, they are one of the most expensive. So I only have like three of those, three sticks of those. Um, and the other ones I had, I think I have like three and then the Mungyo was a pack of 12. And I, um, you know, it's like you can start small. Yeah, that's, that's the point I was trying to make. <laughs> um, you can start small, you know, get three colors of a good quality brand of whatever medium you're using. You know, I talk about, I do watercolor and I do oil on this, I'm sorry, not oil, acrylic on this channel. And, you know, so I'm gonna be talking a lot about that, but like for whatever medium you're using, you can, if it's expensive, get just a few, get, just start off with like three, you know, a red, yellow, and a blue, or, or, you know, even, it doesn't even have to be those colors. Like it'd be whatever colors you want and just get a sense of like, what is the experience using these? Um, and that's how, that's how I would recommend getting started. Uh, because just using, you know, not so good materials, it just really, it can turn you off from the whole thing. Um, and it's also like that saying, you buy cheap, you buy it twice, or like, you know, buying it cheap is expensive because, you know, you're buying the cheap thing and then you have to buy the expensive thing because because the cheap thing is not working, you know? Um, okay, and then the third point is buying better quality materials will help you understand if it's you or the medium itself. So using better quality stuff, you know, like I, I for example, like with acrylic painting, I bought some, you know, pretty good acrylic paints and they just weren't working for me. And I thought that I didn't like acrylic paint, but it was actually a knowledge issue for me. Like I wasn't aware of things like mediums uh, to add into, you know, your acrylic paint to make them respond the way you want to because I was seeing I was seeing other people making these beautiful figurative pieces I mean like beautiful birds and forest and people and all these different things they were doing with acrylic paint and I was like how are they doing this now? like it looks like oil you know how are they able to like do this large work and it not be drying up on them, you know? Because, and it was, a, it was a, like a knowledge issue, like a knowledge of the material issue and not the material itself. So once I learned about mediums, I have one right here. This is a slow dry medium. I learned that oh, this is how you use this. This is, you use this with this and then you can get these results. So it's not a problem with my uh, acrylic paints themselves. The problem is that I'm not using the right like aids <laughs> to get the um, results that I want, you know, because I was just using water and like thinning it out and then like, my brushes are like drying up before my eyes. <laughs> and I'm just like, this is impossible. But it was just like a knowledge of the materials thing. It wasn't the materials itself. Okay. So if you have any thoughts on this, um, you know, do you agree that 
beginners should start with better quality materials or do you disagree? Leave a comment below. And if you like this video, please leave a like and you can also subscribe to get to see more of my videos. Um, and I encourage you to check out another video that I made that sort of relates to this one. Uh, which medium should you start with as a new painter? I talk about watercolor, acrylic, oil, and gouache. I talk about the differences. So head over there and check that out if you would like. All right, and that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.